All right, welcome back to the show. Joining me in the studio, I've got a great interview. This is uh, Robbie Nothnagel. Now, I want to, thanks for coming in first. No, don't pass me that. Okay. Robbie, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So this is, uh, this is really good information. We were talking off camera about um, distracted drivers. Right. And you live here. You were in Texas over a year ago. You were hit by a driver right. that was distracted. And you were on a mission at that point. So tell us, kind of so, give us a story. Well, a little background. I was just crossing the street. I was with my kids. There were six of us crossing the road. Um, and we looked, and there were no cars. And all of a sudden, um, there was a car. And she hit me. Um, luckily, I was the only, I say luckily, the, the I was the only hit. person Dang. hit. Um, there were five other people that were four in front and one behind. So, um, <sighs> but just the timing of where she was. Um, anyway, I she. I mean, really, that's a blessing. It's a blessing. Unfortunately, you it got is. hit. But it is. thank goodness no one else did. Really, right, right. right? And um, as um, she told the police that she didn't see me until I hit her windshield. So she was looking at her phone, and she did say she was looking at her phone, but for a long period of time, long enough to not, you know, like four, five, six, seven seconds. You I know? mean, that is an eternity. When you're driving a car, so much can change. Right, and she was going 40 miles an hour. Um, so I'm, you Are know, you okay now? I am, you... I am. It's been a year. Um, I had a broken leg, um, a broken pelvis. It was um, really six months of really bad injury 40 miles an hour yeah and you know like luckily for me again lucky she was not driving a truck right. because right. the the way her, she was driving a small car and i hit her hood rolled into her windshield and then rolled onto the ground oh my dear but so so about six months into my recovery i i started doing i kind of got on a mission of i don't want this to happen to anybody else and so um i went to the high school eagle valley high school and well, quick story, I was in Denver, I saw a car that said cell phone free vehicle, a sticker in the window. And it kind of gave me goosebumps. And I was like, I bet it did. That was that's really cool. Like, that person doesn't have a cell phone. And it was a truck. It was a delivery truck. It's O'Reilly Auto Parts. Okay. And so somehow my little marketing brain came up with this idea to create something that we could put on our cars that would give us the mission of not using our phone because it's so addicting. And if you see this, so what I have is, it's called Stash It. I don't know. Here, I'll hold it up. You hold it. Okay. Yeah, hold so it it's right a magnet. There. It goes on your car. It gives you the indication of, okay, I'm not going to. It goes that. I like that. It's a warning sign. Gotcha. I'm with you. I'm with um, you. There it and is. It, there we go. And it goes, and it's a magnet. It goes on your car. It, it just says, don't use your phone when you're in the car. I yeah. mean, so it's during, another reminder. It's just you need to have reminders. Yeah, and then people see it at City Market and they're thinking, ah, maybe I won't use my phone in the car. So April is National Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and that's why I came on. I wanted to try to just, you know, spread the word. I mean, it can happen to me. It happens to anybody. It, it, it's just a scary thing, and you're driving down the road and you see people on their phone or looking at their phone. And I, I had a lady pass, or I passed a lady on the highway one day, and she was reading a book. Yeah, I mean, Look. you know, it it only takes a second, and I've read so many stories, and and the part of the reason why I'm doing this is because so many of the stories I read were about people who died, um, right. their kids or their mother or their brother or somebody else has to do that for them, and and I I survived my crash. I mean, it was a long year, um, wow. but I'm here to pass the message on. And if you're interested in magnet. Yeah. You can send me an email at codrivesafe at gmail.com. There it is. It's and, showing up on the screen right there. Okay. Robbie, thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you're doing okay. okay. Thank you. This is a big deal, so be aware of it. I try to do it all the time, but there's times when I have to be better, and I think we all do. We have weather coming up next.